Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Guys, we're pushing to 2,500 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you do. Also, too, let me know what you guys think about my channel in the comments. I appreciate all the feedback and all the support. Now, this is a quote from Paul Pierce, one of the biggest Miami Heat haters. He said, Miami was a playing team. You forgot that? If you just add Dame, this team won't make it out the first round with Dame, Jimmy, and Bam with no depth. If you gut that team by getting Dame, they borderline might not make it to the playoffs or out of the first round. First of all, we've made it to the Eastern Conference Finals and the NBA Finals without Damian Lillard. And I get what he's saying in terms of you obviously don't want to gut the team and give away all your depth. Okay, we lost Max Strews and we lost Gabe Vincent. Is that, you know, huge blows to the team? Not really, only because, once again, the Miami Heat, we're known for making these guys, you know, we're known for finding the diamonds in the rough. And I'm not saying that, you know, we can make them overnight, but I'm not really worried about the Miami Heat putting the right players around Jimmy, uh, Bam, and Dame. Okay, fine, we lost Tyler Hero. We've been trying to move off of Tyler Hero for a while now. But this is the stuff that I'm talking about. How on earth are we not going to even get out the first round when we have Dame, Jimmy, and Bam, this is the foolishness. This is the blasphemous things that people go on TV just to lie, just to lie, just to disrespect, just to discredit the Miami Heat. It's one thing if you're actually going to give good basketball takes. This guy played in the NBA for multiple seasons against the Miami Heat, and we whooped him year in and year out. And you're telling me that what Jimmy and Bam has been doing with these undrafted guys and Tyler Hero, you're telling me that we've made it to the Eastern Conference Finals three out of the four years, we made it to the NBA Finals two out of the four years. You're telling me that we can't make it with Damian Lillard, Jimmy, and Bam? Once again, I see what he's trying to say with the whole depth thing. But once again, we did add size. We added Thomas Bryant. We brought back Kevin Love. We brought back Josh Richardson. I'm not saying that they're going to literally change this team completely, but I think those are great additions. You know, like I said, we definitely solved the whole size issue. Size was our biggest problem, you know, year in and year out. And we actually added that to this roster. Of course, I think we're also going to get Christian Wood, and I'm sure that the Miami Heat are probably going to sign one or two more guys on the vet minimums. I'm not really worried about that, but for him to just come out and absolutely say some blasphemous stuff like that, takes that make absolutely no sense, and these guys played in the NBA. That's the sad part, and that's what I mean by guys really have hatred, jealousy, and envy towards Pat Riley and the Miami Heat. And see, and the people want to come at me in the comments and say, oh, well, you know, you, you know, you Miami Heat fans are soft. No, he's on national television lying, giving bad takes. And people actually have to listen to this. These guys have public platforms and they're going on national television lying and saying blasphemous and hatred stuff towards the Miami Heat. This is probably one of the worst takes I've ever heard Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is the same guy that was trying to convince people that he was better than Dwayne Wade and that he had a better career than Dwayne Wade. That is an absolute bold-faced lie. Let me know what you guys think about Paul Pierce's blasphemous words. And like I said, he's just mad because we're about to get Damian Lillard. He's just mad that we've been continuing to beat the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.